Alicia here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. You are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Aries, you know the drill. This is a general energy check. Not going to resonate with all of you, so take what resonates and discard the rest. Don't try to force shit to fit because it will only confuse your ass, okay? So, if you find that this reading does not uh, hit home in any way with you, that's cool. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have something for you at another point in time. Or feel free to book me for a personal reading and you can get clarity and answers for your own unique situation. Okay, uh, just a personal thank you and a huge shout out to all of those who continue to keep my ass busy with these personal readings. Uh, for those of you who hit me up on the live tarot line, your harmonic wave, I appreciate you. And just for those of you who just check out the video and continue to rock with me and, and support the channel, thank you. Much love, much appreciated. Okay, Aries, let's see what's going on with you. Um, cards have already been shuffled and drawn. We will clarify together. So in the recent past, you have Princess of Pentacles in reverse. Someone could have not gave you an offer or you did not give someone an offer. Spirit, so please clarify Princess of Pentacles. And someone didn't know how to. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just said that. <laughs> Aries, did you want to give someone an offer, but you didn't know how to? Uh, for some of you, you were dealing with uh, an earth sign. doesn't have to be, though. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, I feel like for some of you, put the energy where it goes. You know your story, okay? Someone could have wanted to give you an offer really badly, but they just didn't know how. Mm hmm I'm going to take this because they just fell out. Yes. Okay. Aries, did you, did you want to be with someone, but you didn't know how to forgive them for something that they did? Hmm? Or someone really wanted to be with you, but they didn't know how to forgive you for something that they did or something that you did. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm just going to pull a little bit more on this because, okay. Spirit, so please clarify Princess of Pentacles in reverse. Aries, did you not trust somebody? There's a lack of trust here. It's this energy of wanting something with someone, but there's no trust. There's a not really sure. Someone could have not really been sure of what they want with you. Or you could have not been sure. It's like you want to be with someone, but you don't even know why. Like, look what you did to me. Right? Spirit, please clarify. Uh, please the Pentacles in reverse. Two of Swords, yeah. Someone couldn't make up, uh, make up their mind about something. Aries, this is you. This is you. You couldn't make up your mind about giving an offer to someone, but you, you're very passionate about somebody. Mm hmm. But it's like you couldn't decide if you really wanted. You couldn't decide why you wanted them. That's what it is. Mm hmm. You knew that you did. You just didn't know why. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. I feel like someone could have betrayed your trust here, Aries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you could have been asking yourself why you always forgive somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you couldn't make a decision on someone. I feel like maybe you, you didn't trust them. You felt like they were going to do the same thing over again. They always end up doing this. 
you get the same result with them? Like, why do you keep forgiving this person and getting back with this person when nothing changes? But you, you had love for this person. You're very passionate about someone. You were. Now, presently, you have Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, because I said were. I was corrected to say were because that was back then. <laughs> Aries, that was, that was way back, back then. Because now, in this Knight of Swords in reverse energy, you're not nice to somebody, okay? You could be a real bitchy or a real asshole to somebody. Mm -hmm. Swear, please clarify, Knight of Swords in reverse. Please to clarify for me. Yeah. Oh, Aries, who did you cuss off? <laughs> Aries, what did you say to this person? What did you say? You said some things that were not nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Aries. Yes. Mm -hmm. You could have told someone, I've been fucking watching you. You think I don't know what the fuck you've been on? Mm-hmm. You think you're going to hide anything from me? You can't, motherfucker. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. Aries. <laughs> what the fuck? Who? Oh. Can I get one more, Spirit? Can I get one more? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Jeebus, Jeebus. I told you. <laughs> I didn't even need to pull the cards to feel this one, bro. Oh, Lord. Aries, who you cuss off? Hmm? You tell some, you told someone about their self, about their family, their family's family, about what you know they've been up to, that you know they be on some bullshit, you know that they're on their worst behavior. You could have told someone, you're a fucking waste man, you're a waste girl. You think I don't know what you've been on? Mm-hmm. You ain't shit. You ain't never gonna be shit. Aries, who did you cuss off? Lord. I feel it for this person still. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I feel it for this person. Because you did, you spared no expense in cutting someone with your words. You cut them down. You cut them at the knees. You cut a nigga. Yes, you did. Okay? Okay? And for those of you who are not, I know I need to stop saying nigga, but it just comes out, right? You cut a bitch. You cut a bitch. I just got to be myself, you guys. It's all love. It's all love, though. No offense to anybody. I am black. I'm allowed to say it. I got a, um, a comment sometimes so, by someone saying that I'm, how dare I say nigga? Who do I think I am? I'm like, yo, do you not see my complexion? And I'm like the light-skinned one in my family. You see how dark I am? I'm the light-skinned one in my family. I'm allowed to say it, okay? I have my stripes. Anyways, now, tangent. That was a tangent. There you are, Aries. In the near future, King of Wands, there you are. Mm -hmm. Spirit, please clarify King of Wands. Please clarify King of Wands. Aries, you could have been waiting to cuss somebody off. Uh huh. And I say that because I, my eyes were drawn back to this, right? This is, um, what is this? Four of Fire. You could have been watching someone's movements for a minute, okay? Not even a minute, for a whole hour. For a while, you were watching somebody's movements and you were just like, nah, I'm not even doing this with you anymore. Mm -hmm. And you told somebody about the. And I'm not going to lie, Aries, you were on your worst behavior when you told this person. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone let the devil stand up in you. You could have just saw... Red. Someone pissed you off. All you saw was red. You ever get so mad? All you see is red. Mm hmm. Someone pissed you all the way off. Mm hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Did you see my screen light up? Spirit said, Yes, they did. They did. And they got the smoke. Whoo. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I feel bad for that person. I feel bad for them. I'm not going to lie. Spirit, please clarify. King of Wands. Aries, you were using your intuition with somebody, yeah? Mm-hmm. 100% you were. Nice. Okay, okay. So, Aries, you could have... In the near future, if you're not in this energy already... 
You're going to be very proud of yourself for what you did. Yes, you are. You're not going to feel bad about cussing this person off, not even a little bit. You want to know why? Because you realize that this person was keeping you in a delusion. Someone was pulling the wool over your eyes. Someone was telling you lies. Mm -hmm. And you were just like, no, I see through this shit. Now, I want to get one more for this. What is this? Oh, that's what it is. You saw something for what it was, black and white. Like it was just, the what is it? I'm hearing, um, it was written on the wall. You saw something clear as day, okay? It was it's just like black and white. There's no hiding this. You saw that someone was lying to you, keeping you in a delusion, pulling the wool over your eyes, mm -hmm. trying to deceive you, trying to get you to deceive yourself. This could be gaslighting. What do you mean you saw me last night with somebody where you feel like I'm with someone, you had a dream? What are you talking about? You're being crazy. You're being paranoid. I told you I changed. Someone was gaslighting the fuck out of you, Aries, and you said, nah, nigga, nah. I see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And you've been watching this person for a minute, okay? So it's not like you jumped up one day and decided to cuss off this person because you were having a bad day. No. This is this was accumulating, okay? Mm -hmm. Over time, you got tired of somebody's ass and some someone's mess. Yes. Because someone was not trying to be a team player with you. Mm -mm. This was not teamwork makes the dream work. You see the light go off again. Spirit said, yes, talk the things, Keish. Talk the things. Mm -hmm. You kept forgiving somebody who was just on some bullshit. Yeah. You saw that someone was being very selfish with you. Mm -hmm. And they were just about to take from you. They just wanted what you had. Mm -hmm. But someone was not trying to give anything to you. No. Yes, 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 yes. I feel like, too, you realize that someone was a miser and a user and greedy and ungrateful. Uh-huh. Or that somebody was around you for your finances, Aries. Look at this. I can't make this up. You realize that someone was using you. Mm -hmm. Or someone had you in a third-party situation and they were using you. They weren't even using the other person. They were using you. Okay? So they're out being for the streets, but they want to come to you for security and stability and money and time and energy and resources. And you want to know the fucked up thing, Aries? This person that they were um, cheating on you with or had as a third party, they're not even on your level. No, this person, I think everybody looks good in their own way because beauty is in the eyes of the holder. But in your opinion, Aries, this person doesn't even look good. <laughs> I said it. I said it, man. Okay. You think you could have seen this person? For some of you, you've seen this person. You're like, you fucking cheated on me with that? With her? With him? Oh, okay. That's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Clearly, I'm not your type. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, Aries, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Spirit, any more messages? Any more messages for Aries? Mm -hmm. But Aries, I feel like you feel very, if you're not in this energy already, you will be 100% of feeling very proud of yourself for what you did because you listened to your intuition. Some of you, you could have been getting dreams. Uh-huh. You could have been seeing signs or you just did not feel right about someone's ass. Okay. Your higher self was like, no, 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 Aries, pay attention. Pay attention to what this person's doing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Someone found some kind of receipt. Is it credit card receipts or receipts in someone's pocket? Or someone's seen some kind of screenshot of a... Um, a picture on someone's phone of a receipt or some kind of hotel room or something. Someone said they were going away with family or friends or something and went off with their third party and you found out. Yeah. And when I say you tore them a new asshole, <laughs> Jeebus. Okay. Yeah. But you said, no, you think I don't know what you've been up to? I do. I do. Spirit, can I get one more, please? Can I get one more? Yep, three of pentacles. 
Three of Pentacles. Prince of Swords. Okay. So you have Knight of Swords and Prince of Swords. Hmm. Let's see what this is. I feel like um, Aries, you're learning how to work with people um, or you're, you're becoming more clear on the type of people that you want to work with and the type of people you want in your life. You're becoming more clear with, about um, where you want to invest and who you want to invest in. So can I get some for, um, can I get some clarity on Three of Pentacles and Prince of Swords? Some of you are breaking some kind of ancestral chain or pattern or generational, um, I'm hearing behavior that was passed down. Mm -hmm. You're breaking it. You've broken it, actually. Mm -hmm. you you see things. It's like you recognize now when you're not supposed to be putting any time, energy, and effort into people. Because once upon a time in the past, you kept giving people chances or giving this person chances because you really were passionate about them. You really cared about them. But now you're like, no, you fuck up once, you're gone. Mm -hmm. You yeah, you're learning that that eventually it it gets to a point where. There's forgiveness, and then there gets to just this level of disrespect. After a certain time, a certain amount of times of forgiving someone, that person doesn't have any respect for you because they know that they just can fuck around and come back and do the same thing, and you'll just forgive them. So the respect that you're trying to get, you're actually enabling them to disrespect you. Does that make sense? It's like after a certain amount of times, after a certain point, there has to be a threshold where you're just like, you know what? This is really not even working anymore. This is being counterproductive to what I want. If I want you to respect me, I can't keep allowing you to cheat on me and get back with you. No, there has to be. You see that? You see Spirit said, yes, yes. <laughs> Did you see my screen light up? Spirit is here, okay? There has to be a time when, where you say I've had enough. And you're realizing that. You learned this, right? I'm not going to forgive you two, three, four, five times because you're, not, you're never going to change. You get one chance now, bitch. You get one chance. And that's it. Some of you may really love this person and give them two, but after that, they got to go because they should have known better. I feel like two areas, you're, you're in this energy or spirit is saying to um, embrace this energy of when people show you who they are, believe them. When people show you their colors, believe them. Don't make excuses for people. You're learning who you can plant seeds with, who you can invest in, and who not to. Yeah. This is also learning how to trust your intuition, continue to trust your intuition. Because sometimes you may get into this, um, where you're just thinking that you want to be logical, right? Well, you know, I'm looking at the facts of this, and spirit's like... Sometimes it's not just black and white. There are shades of gray. Listen to your intuition for the shades of gray. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know who that one was for. Because some of you, I feel like you would just like dis disregard before in the past where your intuition was telling you because it didn't add up. And spirit's like, it's not going to always add up. That's why you have your intuition, your cheat sheet. Okay. Because um, you can be manipulated by words. People can show you what they want you to see, but energy does not lie, baby. Mm -hmm. So listen to your intuition. Yes. Some of you, you weren't listening to your intuition because you were trying to control the outcome of something or control the narrative of something, or you just didn't want to let something go. So it's like, you know, they said they changed and they're not going to do it again. And it's been three months and they seem to be on good behavior because some of you are with someone who just learned how to hide things from you better. Whew, it came out. Yeah. They learned someone had some kind of fucking encryption on their phone, like they had a nuclear password, passwords on their phone. Like 
biometric facial fucking recognition. Why do you need to lock your phone like that, bro? What's on your phone? <laughs> they just got really good at hiding stuff from you now because they knew you were going to take them back. But if they kept fucking up, fucking up with you, they wouldn't be able to use you for shit. Wouldn't be able to get anything. So they had to make sure they had, they kept you close and kept you in their pocket because you have money. Okay. Or you're good with your finances. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of you are really good at saving. Yeah, you are. So this person wanted to make sure that they kept you real close while they were doing whatever they were doing. Because some of you, you were sponsoring them to sponsor other people. You see how the line goes? They would take your money and go take other people out and go wine and dine other people at your expense. Mm -hmm. And some of you, this went on for a minute because you were just like, well, I'm going to get back with this person because they said they changed. Instead of just letting it go, letting go and letting God, you know what? You want to be for the streets? Boy, bye. Okay? Girl, bye. I'm going to trust that spirit has someone else better for me. I'm going to keep working on myself. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can I get one more spirit? Can I get one more? How far are we? We're 21 minutes in. Okay. Wow, Aries. I wasn't expecting this. But then again, I don't expect anything, right? Look at this. Yeah. Healing. Okay. You're learning how to let go of things um, psychological, uh, mental, emotional wounds. You're healing from these things now. Yes. It's like you're, you're realizing in this recognition of I need to be aware of the people I allow in my world, the people that I invest in, mm -hmm, the people that I trust, the people that I'm giving my time, energy, and effort to. I need to be aware of who I'm doing those things with and who I'm doing those things for, okay? And you, you get into this energy and you embody this energy because you're healing now. Mm-hmm. Any type of emotional wounds, any type of psychological wounds. Someone could have thought that, you know, you needed to be with this person, a gaslighter. That, that's around the territory of being a narcissist. Some of you could have been dealing with someone who had narcissistic tendencies. Mm -hmm. And they're really good at lying, gaslighting, manipulating. Because someone had you up in your head, I'm hearing discombobulated. So someone had you not seeing things clearly. They had you not thinking clearly. Not anymore, though. Mm -hmm. You've healed from all of that shit. You put an end to all of that shit. Oh, yes. Good for you, Aries. Good for you. Spirit, can I get a last card of practical guidance and advice? Can I get a last card of practical guidance and advice? Thank you. Be kind to yourself. Mm-hmm. Do the best you can today while honoring the progress you've made. Aries, far you come from, you know. Far you come from, trust me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spirit said, do the best that you can. You've learned a lot in this cycle, through this cycle, because of this cycle, because of this person. So be proud of yourself. Use the lessons from a situation as opportunities to improve. That's exactly what you did, baby. Mm-hmm. You're using your intuition now. You recognize it's not just things are not just black and white. Mm -hmm. There are shades of gray. And in order to tap into those shades, you need to listen to your intuition. You don't need to. I don't like telling people they need to do anything, but it would be wise. And you are using your wisdom now. Spirit wants you to reevaluate and manage your expectations of yourself and of others today. You could want someone and hope and wish and pray that someone changes. All but change, uh, that's individual. You can't change anybody. You can't fix anybody, Aries. I feel like you're realizing that. Or you've come to this deep aha uh -huh realization, this epiphany. Mm -hmm. So I feel like in the past, a lot of you, you trusted this person or you expected them to change because they said they would. But now Spirit's like, no, pay attention to what's really going on. Mm -hmm. If Reevaluate and manage your expectations of yourself and of others, though. You may have wanted someone to do something and they didn't and, and they disappointed you. Spirit's like, yo, just focus on you. Focus on yourself. Allow yourself time and space to heal. This is confirmation. Aries, you went through a lot with somebody and they hurt you very deeply. Mm -hmm. Give yourself the time and the space you need to heal, to separate from the situation. Go over what you need to go over. Go through what you need to reevaluate, reassess, do introspection, do reflection. 
make the necessary changes you need to make for yourself. Mm -hmm. Acknowledge the validity of your feelings today. It's okay to feel how you feel, Aries. Your emotions are important indicators of if something's off or if something's on. Mm -hmm. Because as much as you were turned on by this person and you desired this person, something was fucking off with them. Mm -hmm. And your intuition was telling you that. Mm -hmm. So Spirit said, acknowledge your feelings. You felt it. You felt that something wasn't right. Listen to it. You have your emotions for a reason. Okay? You don't need to deny them because Aries, you have this energy where you're very analytical or very rational, very logical, right? So it's okay. And I feel like uh, there's a masculine in this collective where you feel like you have to be like, tough. that could be that ancestral change, that chains that you're breaking, that you put an end to, feeling like you have to be super strong and suppress your emotions and you can't let anyone um, let you know that you're, sorry, you can't let anyone know that you have any feelings. And you just have to have these walls up and nothing bothers you. But things bother you, Aries. You are human. You're human too, okay? You are soul creating a human experience. So you're going to experience human emotions. You understand what I'm saying? Huh. Who is Spirit talking to? Spirit said, acknowledge how you feel. Your feelings are important. Mm -hmm. Don't brush them off. Don't suppress them. Don't ignore them. You're there for a reason. Mm -hmm. Wow. Be kind to yourself, honey. Aries, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.